there, Deb Hoffman, Guinness World Record holder of the largest Winnie the Pooh collection in the world. Today I have a newer item and I have two vintage items that I'd like to share with you. And of course, a Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. Let's talk about the vintage items first. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I'm very, very fortunate that my husband is a programmer because he created a database and an app for me so that when I'm out and about and I'm at a thrift store, or I'm shopping, and I see something Winnie the Pooh, many times I know if I have the item or not, but sometimes I don't. And here's a situation where it was very, very important to be able to see a picture, a very particular picture of the item. These are two Winnie the Pooh banks, and they're from the 60s. And it's really kind of interesting. You'll notice it looks like they're the same. However, there's some subtle differences that really do make these two items different. And so they're two different items in my Guinness World Record collection. They're items number 4465 and 8656. Here's the difference between them. Um, again, back in the 60s, you had mass merchandising, but it wasn't as consistent as maybe it is today um, in the stores, and, and I even wonder if these possibly were hand painted. So the difference between the two, you can notice that um, the chimney on the two banks are different colors. The shutter on the windows are very, very specifically different. You'll notice that the honey pots are a different color. Um, the tree stump is a little bit different color, and so they're they're very different, really, when it comes right down to it. Even the bottoms, you'll notice that you've got the Walt Disney Productions over here. On this one, it's down here. And so as much as it looks like they're the same, they are different. So for me, two different items in, the, in my collection. And so those are my vintage items. Um, a little bit newer item, and this has a fabulous, fabulous story. And you're gonna, gonna find lots and lots of these items in my collection as to where they came from. This was actually donated to me by a lady in Ohio. And it was a lady that she was a fabulous poo collector, but she was at the point where she needed her space back. And believe me, having as many rooms of poo as I do, I understand a space issue. Anyway, she contacted me and she wanted me to have the collection. So she donated 1,500 Winnie the Pooh items to me because she wanted the items to go to a collector who would appreciate the items. I mean, she could have very easily donated them to a thrift store or to a charity or something like that, but the items were special to her, and so she wanted them to be owned by somebody who would appreciate them as much as, as she did. And so this is one of the items, a little bit newer item. And you know, I don't know if it really was a cup to be used for drinking. I use it uh, to put pencils in. And so uh, this is a very, very, very a newer item. I can't even tell you what year it is, but uh, definitely newer than, than the banks. And this is item number for me, 16,483. And so really kind of cute. Doesn't have a, a manufacturer on it, um, but one of my, my newer poo items. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of these items, please make sure that you contact me. If you have a question about my sweatshirt, my sweatshirt is another wonderful story. Um, this was actually given to me by um, uh, a gal named Mary, and she is a wonderful Pampered Chef distributor, and so uh, she found the sweatshirt, and uh, she knew how much I loved Winnie the Pooh, so we were at a business meeting together, um, and she brought it as a gift. So thank you very much, Mary, and actually, coincidentally, the gal whose collection I have, her name is Mary as well, and so, so very, it's a very merry day for me here. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email me at deb at mostpoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at at most poo. You can find me on YouTube and my channel is most poo 5150. And if you have anything that you would like to sell, feel free to post it out on Cartoon Freak Boutique. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you again. TTFN.